connections because even here in Belfast, you're right, and what's like in West Belfast, they keep saying my connection's unstable. So, um, not me, just my connection, just to have that on a record. But anyway, so we've got a, we have a quorum here. Um, I just want to confirm that um, that the committee's been now held fully virtually. So, um, and I just want to ask, has everyone, can everyone see and hear everything okay? If you just thumbs up. Great. Yep. Nick, there's a bit of a delay, a bit of a lag, so we just need a horse on, see what we can do. Is that okay? No problem, Chair. Carry on. Okay, so um so we're we're on Starleaf and you know we all know the draw at this stage. Um and then the chat and either myself or Nick will will pick it up. Um so Nick, you've received a few apologies. Um Yes, Chair, we, that's right. We've had an apology from, from Gary, um, who isn't uh, here today. And we, we had had Linda, but obviously Linda has now arrived. So <laughs> uh, that one's fine. Okay. And Tom's going to try and sign them once he gets sorted with yes. technical stuff. So good stuff. So um, has, and um, with, with no notice of anyone then receiving delegate authority, has Gary uh, done that? Uh, no chair. Um, again, as as Linda is here, um, that's no longer required, and we haven't had notice of that from Gary or Tom. So everybody else is. Well, is hopefully, in the Vienna this committee, hopefully, will not need it. So, um, so I want to advise everyone that this will be next last meeting with the committee. He's moving on to the business office. Um. So I want to, on your behalf, and I'm just going to ask us if you wish as well, just to thank you, Nick, for all your work, particularly since the onset of COVID-19. It's been very, very difficult for everyone, but you've done an absolutely brilliant job, um, to be fair, you and all the staff in this committee. Um, and I just want to pass on my thanks and appreciation. Um, fair play to you. That's all I can say. And I want to wish you all the best in the business office, you know, each of us will torture you in the business <laughs> office. <laughs> you no works all well. And <laughs> That's very kind. Thank you very much. So let me, you're more than welcome. Anyone else wants anything? Carol, Chair. Sure. Yes. Can I just say, obviously, in the time during which I, I, I was in your in your place as chair, um, which thankfully now <laughs> you, you've resumed, I just want to say, Nick, and of course all of the staff were, were a really great help, but I have to say Nick was, was excellent in ensuring that I was prepared for every meeting, and I'm sure he'll he'll be no less excellent in his new role, and I wish you the very best luck, Nick. You know, you're, you've done an excellent job with the committee, I have no doubt you'll the business committee will be very, very lucky to have you. That's very appreciated, thank you very much. And Jerry's put under the chat. Yeah. Sorry, just a second. I genuinely have to say, you know, Nick, thank you so much. But not only that, this was a prime example of when something had to happen quickly and all of the usual red tape that's in front of a lot of people and you know the role that Nick does. He stepped up and my goodness, you know, to turn around the standing orders and things like that in the in the speed and of the quality that you did will always stand by you, Nick. And I genuinely thank you for that. And wish you luck and thanks for everything, Nick. Thank you very much. I have to say, I, I will thank say that it's a team effort, Sinead. You know, it's not just me. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Nick, can I just thank also you. thank you for all your all yes, your me. Uh, just to wish you well in your new move. Thank, thank you, you very much, Rosemary. I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, Nick, can I also echo Rosemary's uh sentiments there and offer my best wishes to you? And my thanks to you as a newbie onto the committee for all your help. Thank you very much, sir. No problem, Morris. Thank you. And Nick, Jerry's put comments in the chat as well. Yes. He wanted to thank you also. Yes, I see that. Yeah, thank, thanks very much, uh, Jerry. Thank you. So I think, Nick, you got a virtual hug from us all. I think <laughs> uh, a virtual hug. Yes. In fact, absolutely. all the committee just did our virtual hug. It's one of them days. 
I'm going to introduce Emer Boy. Um, Emer will be the new clerk to the committee moving forward. So, Emer, I see you there. Do you want to say hello? Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for the introduction. Emer, I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? I have unmuted myself. Can everyone hear me now? No, I can't. I can't hear anything. Can you hear me or anybody else? Yes, we can hear you now. No. Sorry, Amar. Can you hear me? She's not on mute. No, she's not on mute. It, it's something wrong with the microphone because we could hear, but very low. It was almost as though it was a really distant phone call. I've tried to change my sound settings. Can everyone hear me now? Oh, God, oh, I guess. Sorry, it's quite a bit loud. Thank you very much for the introduction. Um, so I joined the team on Monday and... Uh, I'll ask for your forbearance until I catch myself up and thank Nick and everyone for the introductions as well. So obviously a big shoes to fill and I'm looking forward to that challenge. Okay. Imre, thank you very much. You'll all probably see there's a bit of a lag. So it's not that we're... Um, I think everybody's just experiencing a wee bit of technical, technical difficulties and all the weather and obviously our rural colleagues have the additional burden of poor broadband service. So I want to advise that um, the, the committee of the day's agenda, which includes a briefing from legal services on the half nine deadline for nominating a proxy vote. Now, a briefing by the committee clerk or the clerk assistant in respect of the legislative consent motions and the committee um, will also review the strategic planning and also I propose that the committee begins in closed session because, and then we'll move back out of closed session and then go back in. And um, that seems to be the the way w in which all these committees are operating, particularly around certain items. Um, so can I just seek the committee's agreement to move uh, to closed session at the beginning and at the end of the meeting? Is that yep. agreed? Agreed. Agreed. So, Nick, we advise broadcasting that we're now moving into a closed session before we move on to the next agenda item. Yes. Please. Uh, if, if we just give them a number of seconds. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29.
This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 
29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29.
This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 
29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29.
This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 
29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly Committee Room 29. This is the Northern Ireland Assembly. Um, just actually while we're while that waiting for that to happen, we had previously written to the executive on this matter. Um, when we first started the uh, the inquiry into LCMs, but uh, to date haven't received a response, so we can follow up on that as part of uh, sort of the correspondence that we're going to do. And we're now back into open session. And I also think we, we could consider at the end other options of getting getting the ear and the eye of everyone, um, even consider that at the end. So, um, so the. We've, we've, we've been through the apologies. We've received apologies from Gary and from Tom. Yes. Um, so can I bring everybody to agenda item number four, the draft minutes? So the draft minutes of the 20th of January 2021 are on, on our meeting, on our meeting, our page 131. And members will note, poor little villain was in a, like somebody at, like a fiddler's elbow. So that Linda is shown, was shown as an attendance in the minutes rather than present. So due to the change of the chairperson recently, there was a procedural over, a procedural oversight with Linda's membership, which was again uh, clarified at the uh, plenary on Monday. So Linda, welcome back for the third time into the committee. So there you go. So our members agreed to and content to agree the minutes of the 20th of January. Yeah, Agreed. good stuff. Agenda five matters arising. I just want to inform everyone that the committee in motion to amend standing orders in respect of the hybrid proceedings was agreed by the assembly on Monday. Most of not not all of us were there, and you can um, look forward to this being implemented in the very near future. As on a page three of our table, the items the speaker has written to the committee with an update on this issue. Um, our Members content. Is there anything that they want to ask on this? Sorry, Chair. Could I just add, have we got an update um, recently on the technology and that has it been purchased or where are we up to? Do, do we have any idea at this stage? I, I, to be honest, Sinead, I think we should put that down just to ask Susie for an update on that. Because even when the speaker wrote to us, you know, the impression was that it was, you know, tickety boo. So we just, I think it's okay for us. Ask the members of content just to ask for an update on the IT equipment. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Nick, has anybody indicated to speak in this? Uh, no, Chair, uh, nobody. And I, on the back of there, the committee's decision, I'll uh, I'll write to um, to Susie. And if we get a written response from her, which I think we will before the next committee meeting, we'll obviously circulate that to members just for the update. Okay, thank you, Nick. So, agenda item six, proxy voting. On consideration to proxy voting, and uh, we appear to be steering towards introducing proxy voting, for example, for parental leave and long-term illness. So, it's just to advise that guidance should be drafted to accompany any proposed changes to standing orders. Um, the committee will now return to its consideration on permanent proxy voting. And I'd like to remind members that this agenda, agenda item is specifically looking at the current provision in Stanton Order 27 bar 11, or brackets 11. And you'll remember that the committee has already given some consideration to this and has already discussed um, its available options. So we, you know, from those discussions, the, the uh, presentation was that we we're steering towards introducing permanent proxy voting under circumstances like parental or matern maternity leave and indeed long-term illness. Um, at page 138 of our pack is the option, 
paper previously provided by Nick. Um, and you may be also aware from the pack at pages 145 to 195 are the responses received for your information. So with all that said, um, does anyone have any additional comments to give regarding this? Chair, can I just come in there, please? Um, of course. Can I? Yeah. Chair, just to say that um, I, I'm just wondering, because I know we're in the business of um, extending procedures as they are, you know, based on the, the pandemic situation. And I do wonder then, um, should we um, be ambitious enough to hope to have sort of an agreed um, amendment to standing orders? that when that time comes to an end, that we're rather than closing or removing standard orders, we're replacing, you know, if we could have an agreed um, position, I think that would be very helpful. There would be a natural progression you know, from the current status. Thank you. Yeah, so is that under any circumstance or just the circumstances I've outlined, Sinead? I think under the, because there has been, I think, fairly good agreement on under the circumstances yeah. as you outlined. So I think if we're in agreement, yeah. we could at least bank that much and try and have um, yeah. an agreed standing order on standby. And if we want to deliberate further or add to that, but it would be a very a, a good base piece of work to have sitting on standby. Yeah, no, great. Um, anyone else, any views on that? Yeah, Chair, uh, Linda has... Yes, Linda. Thanks very much, Chair. Um, just, Sinead actually has covered it there. If, if we're able to have that ready for, for such times, and, and I know, obviously, there are members that would prefer we would go further, and, and I'm not personally opposed to that, but I think these are the circumstances that we need to deal with urgently because yeah. these are the circumstances that, uh, in which there is actually an inequity the rest of us are all in the same position in terms of you might be sick on a one-off or you might not be able to get to Stormont for some reason on a one-off, but there's a real inequity for everybody that's on long-term sick or parental or maternity leave in that you are long-term and it's planned, but you can't do anything to, to ensure you're able to vote. So I think it's important we get it in place. No, thank you for that. Has anyone any country position that may offer their opinion? No, I don't have a country position. Uh, Carol, it's okay to speak. Of course, Rosemary, go ahead. No, I don't have a country position whatsoever, but I'm wondering about the term long-term illness. Do we need maybe a specific, de more specific definition or whatever? I'm not quite sure. I, I know what long-term illness, you know, something that somebody that's suffering maybe cancer, that type of thing. Um, do you consider someone that has MS now long-term? I, I asked the question. I'm not uh, scribbling yeah. over it, but I just asked the question because there, somebody yeah. that's uh, MS will be forever, if you understand, sometimes for yeah. the I'm Yeah, not, and... Yeah, no, no, I, I, no, I know where you're coming from, Rosie. But even if you look, for example, the impact of long COVID in people, yes, it could be really debilitated for anything right up until twenty weeks. Yeah, um, you know, and that we're still trying to discover the the impact of, on people. But I know even my neighbour who had COVID in September is actually still getting physiotherapy, um, mm -hmm. and it's it's quite severe and they were um, like a lot of people unfortunate enough to be uh, hospitalized in ICU and put in a ventilator but I, I think it's where people genuinely can't make it and it's going to go, run into a period of a few months mm -hmm. like uh, we've all had colleagues who have had illnesses and stuff like that and genuinely they can't and even you know for people who are on parental leave or maternal leave that particularly those um, that we just need to ensure that there's no impediments put their way yeah. to come in. So, um, Nick, is there is there anything else that we need to ask for in terms of clarification? Um, thanks, Chair. No, I, I don't think that at this stage we had sort of discussed this um, uh, at, a, at a previous meeting there just um, at the back end of the year. And um, I think what 
uh, with with the committee's agreement, the next stage would be just to for, for us to come back. Actually, we need to just seek some legal advice on actually amending okay. that order as usual. Um, and just in terms of Rosemary's Rosemary's point, I think again we could come back to that when we have that legal advice and have more yeah. discussion around how we are defining things um, and and perhaps you know look at that at, at a future meeting. Yep. Yeah. And Rosemary, are you happy for us to just move on and get the legal advice? Could I also ask Nick that even if we could ask uh, HR for what their definition for long term illness is, so people will be able to bring that back to their parties in order to get support. Is that fair enough? No problem, Chair. I can do that, yes. So are we agreed just to proceed on in that fashion? Is anyone else anything they think it needs to be included? No? Everybody is Kula? Bula? Right, Nick, is, is there anybody indicating there? No? No, that's it. Um, I think we are we are content Stop with that. And we'll do that. Okay, good stuff. So agenda agenda item seven, it's correspondence. And again, just a note, um, at page 197 is the latest Human Rights Commission newsletter. Um, are members content to note this? Mm -hmm. Content. At page six of tabled items, there's a letter from the chairperson of the Finance Committee requesting that the committee gives consideration to setting out clear procedures in order to allow committees, if they so choose, to include the sponsor of a private member's bill as an ex officio member of that committee during the appropriate stages of the passage of the PMB. So are we content to consider this issue as part of a strategic planning session at the end of this meeting? Okay. Content? Okay, so agenda item eight is our forward work program. Um, and what we agreed earlier, um, that the committee will give consideration to the terms what should be set out in guidance in relation to proxy voting. Um, so we're going to go into closed session um, to revisit uh, the strategic plan and which will interpret us with further sust substantive items for consideration under our work um, plan. So. Um, Nick, we're, we're going into closed session now. I think we'll oh, just, sorry. Chair, well, just, just a couple more things to cover then.